Hallelujah. Come on, turn to your brother and sister and say, I'm going to get what I came for. I'm going to get what I came for. Did you hear what the Bible said? God said, they called you an outcast, but I never did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They called you a loser, but I never did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They called you a failure, but I never did. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know, don't put a period where God puts a comma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved of the four, listen to this preacher this morning. Children of Zion, when things get tough, you get tougher. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to stop being a Sabbath day saint and a Monday morning sinner. All right. It's time to stop being a Sabbath day warrior and a weekday whiner. Amen. Disciples of Jesus Christ, we wore filthy rags, ignorant to God's righteousness. We didn't know anything about God. We were yet filthy rags. We were slaves and servants of sin. My God, my God, my God. But a sanctified Savior redeemed us and made us saints. Can somebody say amen? amen. I say we were ignorant to God's righteousness and we were servants to sin, slain until a sanctified Savior redeemed us and made us saints. Followers of the risen Lamb, we must declare today it is better to die in faith than to live in doubt. Amen. It is better today to live in faith and know that God will make a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. God has given us a determined destiny. Our prophetic purpose is knocking on our door. Behold, you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. How many believe they have a determined destiny? How many believe you're about to walk in your prophetic purpose today? Yes, well, I'm trying to tell you today, my God, destiny is knocking at your door. And you are in the kingdom for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Preacher, you don't know what I'm going through. I don't need to know. God knows. Hallelujah. You don't know how tough I have. It gets tougher. Anybody ever heard tough times don't last? Tough people do. My God. <coughs> Square your shoulder, lift your head, grit your teeth, sit tall in the saddle, Bubba and Bubba Rex, <laughs> and know that the latter rain shall be greater than the former rain. Somebody need to say, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain. Yeah. Is anybody ready for the latter rain? Yeah. Did you hear what the Bible said? I will heal thee. I will deliver thee. My God. Is anybody ready for the latter rain? Yes, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. The Bible says, look up to the sky for your redemption draws nigh. My God. The Spirit of the Lord declares, I must be purged if I want my restoration. Come on, turn to your brother or sister and say, I must be purged. I must be purged. If I want my restoration. If I want my restoration. Anybody want to be restored this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody want their marriage restored this morning? Yes, yes. Anybody want their children restored this yes, morning? Yes. I got one for you. Anybody want their money to be restored? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible tells me that God's going to make the canker worm, the perma worm, the caterpillar, and everything else get back what he stole from you. Amen. How many know we're not supposed to be living in aches and pains? Hallelujah. Amen. I said I must be purged if I want my restoration. Come on, by faith, say, I'm going to get what I came for. Get what I came for. My God. Look at verse 7 with me, please. At last, for the day is great, so that none is like it, even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. How many know we pick up the story in the middle of God? doing restoration on his chosen and his call. Amen. If you read verses 1 through verse 6, he's saying, I will restore Israel 
and I will restore Judah. How many know Israel is God's chosen? Amen. And Judah is God's call. Is there anybody here today that's chosen of God? Hallelujah. Is there anybody here called of God? Yes. How many remember the Bible declares, many are called but you are chosen. chosen. This word today is for the chosen of God. Hallelujah. This word today is for those that are called of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who's mumbling, stumbling, and grumbling and don't know how to see their way out of a wet paper bag. Hallelujah. Amen. This word is for you today. Come on, somebody need to say, I'm waiting on my ladder rain. I'm waiting on my ladder rain. We pick up the story in the middle of God's chastisement on the chosen of God, the called of God. There are some here today where people have come in the middle of what God is doing in your life. Some of us are in the middle of God's chastisement on our life because of bad decisions we've made. All right. Some of us have come into the middle and look at you and they believe the devil's beating you and your family up. But how many know this ain't the devil's doing, this is God's doing? Amen. The Bible says who God loves, he chastises. He chastises. You better get it right. I ain't being beat up, I'm being chastised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you not remember John chapter 11 verse 7? How many remember the story of Lazarus? Just wave to yes. me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus himself said, this sickness is not unto death, uh -huh. but for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yes. But how many know Lazarus died? Hallelujah. Right. May I tell you that the story of Lazarus is about a man that was sick and tired of living the way he was living. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God has to bring us to our lowest point yes. so he can deal with us. Hallelujah. Yes. Have you not just read in Jeremiah where it says the times of Jacob's trouble? Mm -hmm. Somebody better just lick their fingers and say, oh, we're about to get deeper. <laughs> Amen. We're about to get deeper. Hallelujah. Have you not read Psalms 51, 7, brother? Where it says, purge me and I shall be clean. Amen. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I know everybody knows Psalm 51, 10, right? Yes. Creating me a clean heart. But we remember, or we don't remember Psalm 51 and 7. Purge me. Anybody know what purge means? It deals with the inside. I'm trying to tell somebody, I must be purged before I get my restoration. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus put it this way, no man put new wine in old skin. You can't be all that in a bag of chips and you still acting like stale chips. Do you understand? I'm trying to tell somebody, the bread of life never gets stale. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We pick up the story where it looked like the devil is beating up God's people, but how many know it's God doing it? Mm. The Bible says, at last, at last, this is a day. This day is great so that none is like it. Hear me this moment. The bottom line, the end of the line, no more running. Mm. That's what that day means. The bottom line, the end of the line, when you can't bear no more, yes, when you're tired of being tired, anybody know what I'm talking about, tired yes, of being tired? Amen. My God, this is the day where the rubber meets the road. Yes, this is the chastisement that makes men and women change. I've been praying for my spouse to change. Mm -mm, they ain't got to that day yet. Hallelujah. Is anybody understanding what I'm saying? You want to see somebody change, you better pray God deal with them. How many know what Jacob's troubles are? Can I tell you what Jacob's troubles are? How many know? Can somebody answer this from it? This is rhetorical. But why does God still call Israel Jacob? When he said, I changed your name. Yet he still called him by his old nature. May I tell you, Jacob's trouble represents the stuff you did in the past. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know you got to be held accountable for that stuff? If you did that, somebody, somebody say it's karma. Somebody say what goes around comes around. But God likes to say what I call it is called Jacob's trouble. Hallelujah. You can, Jacob lied to his brother. Jacob lied to his daddy. You got to pay for that, buddy. Yes, Lord. The time of Jacob's trouble is when everything you have done, all the misuse you've done to people, all the lying you did to people, all the getting over you've done to people, all the cheating, the lust, the fornication, everything. Yes, this is that day, brother. This is when God says today, gird yourself like a man. Unless you want to change, 
You may have this sickness unto death, but it's for the glory of God. How many knows before somebody can come off of alcohol, they got to be sick and tired of it. They got to be willing to die 